What's up everyone? Brandon here from Mini Golf US. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing down below. Also, ring that notification bell so you can see our next episode when we drop it next week. We are on official lockdown again for 2020. So, we have hole number two, and you're never going to believe this footage, folks. So stick around and let's get to it. Hey guys, so we've been working on our second hole in our basement mini golf course for probably a few hours now, and we didn't really want to bore you with the intricate details and all the nitty gritty of the setup, so we're just going to show Brandon kind of doing the final touches. As you can see here, it's not quite done. And there's no walls here, so Brandon's going to put up the walls and do some other kind of final touches. And we're also going to explain to you all the little intricate details of this awesome hole. So stick with us and we're going to get to it. Alright, so first we're going to tape it to the wall. Uh, if this duct tape will work out for me here. Jeez, what is up with this thing? Alright, we got it, we got it. Hang in there, folks. So we're going to put a nice... I don't know, couple inch strip of duct tape right here just to get it snug on the wall and then it kind of lines up with the doorway and we kind of want, you know, a good size shooting lane if you're going to take the second approach to this hole. So also I'm going to have these, I don't know, probably on the outside of the wall because you obviously don't want them to interfere with gameplay. Um, just like little things to hold up the wall so it doesn't fall over. Uh, that should stick right to it. And it's not sticking too well, but I don't know, maybe another piece of tape will shall suffice. And put them on the wall. Should stay there. And if it doesn't, oh well, just get more tape. Just trying to give you a basic rough idea. I mean, you don't even really need to do that with this one, I guess. Should just stay right up. So I'm just gonna throw an extra little stabilizing strip right here of duct tape, and we got one more angle down there that I'd like to put into effect. Oh, it's hard on the knees. Might want to pad your knees, folks. So we got one more strip going there for that little support, and I'll just tape it to this so it holds up nice. Cut it in half and roll with it. So come on in, I'll show you. So I put a little furnace filter here just to block that from the ball going over there. Also, we decided to use some stair doors for our wall in case the ball decides it wants to go that way. Obviously, kicks it back into play. And we got some totes and also an angle. So. In case we miss it, on because there's going to be two different ways to play this DIY makeshift golf course. Because there's two ways, we have to block every angle. So there's, a, I mean, obviously you're going to be able to come up through this tube into this ramp. It's going to drop through here. You can see my finger, right? And it's going to use these as a little guide. It's going to drop into here, then go down here, kick off this pin, and drop into the hole. And that's what we're hoping that this baby does. Also, you're going to be able to hit it from that record back there, if you can see it. So you can come up this little ramp right here, and it should hit this brick and this brick and go in the hole. That's the plan. So this is pretty cool. This is how you make your very own DIY mini golf course in your basement, or at least hole to get yourself pointed in the right direction to get your nine holes or your 18, whatever you want to play. So I'm going to have Matt here show you the intricate crazy details of this course so let's get to it All right, guys so here are the details of the course that I'm really excited to show you so when you're starting the hole you have two options like Brandon said a couple minutes ago you got the record with the three little spots that you can put your ball so you can kind of choose your angle and you also got the special option as you can see you got this ball here you start it right here in our little cardboard V shaped contraption and it's also on a raised ledge because it's kind of hard to hit up this PVC pipe as you can see so we wanted to reduce the angle that you have to hit up. For the PVC pipe we have to support it in a few areas obviously at the beginning of the hole it's on the cardboard box and now from our pull-up bar we got it hanging from an old Xbox cord it's supporting some of the weight 
kind of jerry-rigged a lot of stuff. Then we got a little bit of duct tape along the pipe. And this is where it gets really exciting. So we got a big cardboard contraption here that's going to catch the ball that comes firing through this tube. And after it hits this cardboard, it's supposed to roll down, kind of like Brandon showed before, and come out through the bottom. So let's check out how this contraption is held up. So if you look up here, we got a mouse holding it up and it's got a cord and then you got a USB printer cord and it's all kind of tied together so as you can see this is there's a lot of duct tape holding this up we've got a popsicle stick and a marker here that really guide the ball and then this ramp here the one that sends it right to the hole that one is held up by like a headphone cable and another USB we have a lot of USB cables around here mini golfers <laughs> <laughs> and then this sends it into the hole and of course so all the walls of this platform are made up of bubbly cases. Then we've got a couple bricks here, of course, for bankability, because we at Mini Golfers really value bankability on our courses. And another thing I wanted to show you is this whole catcher contraption. It's held up by some bamboo stick I found. And we got the bamboo stick held up by some USB cables to some random <laughs> makeshift board. board. Yeah, yeah, just sticking out of the wall. And there's some <laughs> screws that we tied it all to. A lot of duct tape and uh, yeah, it's really an interesting course layout we have for you. Brandon, what are you doing there? Drawing a helipad, a little circle with an H. And what's that for? That's because a lot of hole-in-ones are going to soon land here before they go in the hole. So, let's play. Oh, there it goes, baby! What happened? It's hard to film in this place. Some raw footage. The rarest raw footage right here of Matt trying to make this hole in, let's see, maybe three shots. Oh! There we go. Ready? <laughs> the screw's not even in. Well, hey, everybody! Yeah, dude! So, I guess. Oh, that's a did you really? Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. I'm going to get it right here. Oh! Oh! Boom, baby! Ready? Mm-hmm. It's getting stuck in there, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like hitting <laughs>
is there, it seems like they're rewarding us more. Or they're just trying to make up for not doing anything for two weeks. All right, let's see. Did you see that? Do you see what I see? Oh, oh it broke, dude. What happened here, Brandon? Just couldn't seem to get the ball in the hole. Picture a perfect picture. Picture me in a pimp hat. Picture me busting my gut. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's going, baby. Oh, oh, boom! Oh, oh! That's a powerful one. Hacha, hacha, cha, 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 cha. The harder they are, the more they will. Looks like I'm breaking the course. I'm a scientist right now. I just want to see what works. Okay. Oh, it's going, baby. It's going. Boom! We got a problem. What? I got weak knees and I just pooped my pants. <laughs> Run it, run it, and run it, run it, and boom, baby! If don't don't hit too hard, cause you're gonna hit me. Get pretty good at this. Good night. Ah! Oh, hit me! Oh! It went in. Oh! Boom! Boom! It hit me, and it went in. Boom! Boom! Straight shot. Uh oh. I can't wait till we show that footage of where the ball went up and hit the camera. Yeah. You ready for this? Whoa! Whoa! Look at that roll. Didn't even have to touch it. It knows exactly where to go. See, I got a little tracker on this ball. It's almost like I got 5G going on here. Too soft. Oh Lord. It's always basically back at the start. Really, Jeez. you can dig yourself in a really deep hole on this oh, one. Oh, you can, absolutely. Hit it while it's running. Jesus. What wedge? Oh my Lord. This might take forever. Just hit it back to the carpet. Holy smokes. 948 shots. Oh, did you see that shot? It bounced dude. around everything. What? That was crazy. What dude. happened? It hit off of here, it hit off of there, and went right into the hole. It was nuts. Oh, oh, oh. boom! Woo. What happened there? Just went in the hole, man. One more time. The ball found its home. Don't Please. stand too close to me. All right. Oh yeah. That's the that's the spirit hostess. Woo Go baby. What happened? Normally it doesn't get stuck on there. Oh, it's moving. It's thinking about it. Mmm. Oh, hole in one every time, baby. It's like that driver. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Everyone's seen that driver swing TikTok. 
That's what it feels like. Here we go. I couldn't get it all in there. It's all right because it flew. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send it back home. Send it to its home. So send it back home. i got to get a better angle here, though. Doing a Captain Morgan over here. Oh, perfect. You guys see that? Perfect. That bank shot put me in the right position. Perfect. Tomorrow at four? The right position to hit it off the bricks and get it in the hole in three. Here we go. Is what I'm talking about. Here we go. Oh, I hit the edge. Ready for this? Mm -hmm. oh. You never know where it's going to go on this concrete floor. Anytime now. I'm going to go under the heel, get under my own heel. There you go. It's going to work on the calf strength. Oh, not enough power. The ball ended up way back before the start. If I get it from here. Watch our production value go through the roof in like 10 years. We'll show, like, we'll show the, like the, all the brand new equipment we have. Instead oh, yeah, instead of like, what? All this. It came from like the red carpet to this, you know. Literally walking on the red right carpet right now, you know. Yeah, you see that? This carpet's cherry. Hang on something to this cherry, like that suitcase of yours. <laughs> so much suspense. I don't want to trip on the course. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Now I'm going to do something extra special for you. So I'm going to start with, and take take notes here. This could help you when you make your own course at home and you play on it. You line it up and you move the terrain in your favor just like that. Now it's going to be a straight shot to the end zone or whatever you call it. End zone. <laughs> oh! You see that? That's how you move the terrain in your favor. See that? <laughs> you see that? Do you? See that? Do you see? Do you see? Yes, I see. Yeah. Alright guys, this is called the nonchalant. So you put your hand against the wall, cross your legs, lean a little bit, and then line up the club with a weird angle, and you're just going to punch it. There we go. And it's right in the hole. Alright guys. This is just how you get an easy hole in one. Not much to it. Boom! A little roll, but then it went right in. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, folks, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this with your friends. And stay tuned for next week when we drop hole number three, the most insane hole yet. That's Matt and Brandon signing off from Mini Golfers. Peace.